Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and if you didn't make it out to the Expo on Anvil Day, um, you missed an opportunity to actually see the F8 Lightning in-game. And the ship itself is fantastic. Um, so I want to show you this, you can't get inside of it yet, but I want to kind of take you on a little look around the ship. Uh, ultimately what you have from weaponry perspective is two on each of your wings, so you've got four there, you've got two under the belly, and you've got two on top. The engine configuration is interesting too because it seems like you've got three main engine areas. Each one of those has four little compartments where something might come out. So I don't know if that's 12 engines or if that's three engines or if that's six engines. Um, and then on the fronts, you end up having, um, you know, two retro thrusters on each wing or I guess one on each wing for two total. And then you also end up getting very large maneuvering thrusters on it. Um, underneath the belly, you kind of see this thing that I'm going to zoom in on in just a second. Um, that's uh, what I'm assuming here is a radar package or some sort of scanner. Um, there's some rumors and people talking about how that might actually be a torpedo, but I don't see that being the case. Um, and then you've got some uh, missiles that are actually tucked under the wings that you can kind of see or under that little bump. And you've got your remote turret on top. Now, you can't get any information on this ship just from looking at it or holding F and trying to interact, but when I look at the size and just what I'm familiar with, the big guns on the wings seem to be just one size down from the extra large one that you can throw on the front of the Vanguard. And you can throw an M7A size 5 laser cannon on the front of the Vanguard. So I think what we see on this is those are the size 4 M6As on the wing, um, along with some M5As probably, um, which would be a size threes. Um, all of the weapons there on the wing seem to be fixed. I don't see any gimbals there, but that doesn't mean there's some sort of different technology. They almost look like they're kind of slid on with rails though. Um, but I would assume you get the uh, you know ability to change that out however you like. Under the uh, underbelly of the ship, you have two Panther size three laser repeaters. Um, and then you've got uh, four total missiles on this, unless there's some more that are kind of hidden somewhere else on the ship. I haven't seen any yet, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Um, overall, the design of this ship is really sleek. You know, when we first got just the pictures and kind of the overall, um, I guess, the artwork on the ship, it looked cool, but it looked very blocky, right? Like, it looked like it was going to be significantly chunky. It's not like that at all. It's swept back, it's sleek, it's kind of agile looking. Um, it looks like it's got a relatively thin profile. Um, you know, it looks like it's relatively, it's wider than I thought it was going to be. It's got a bigger footprint, but that's partially because of the extendable wings. Um, the maneuvering thrusters on these look very, very large for a ship of this size. Um, you know, they almost look like mediums. So, you know, that would be something that would make this ship, you know, next gen type of maneuverability is just by throwing bigger ones on there. And if you think in lore, the reason why this is actually in place is it was created to be able to bring the boom that something like a Super Hornet could bring, but with the agility to deal with the threat of the Vandal ships like the Blade and the Glaive and the Scythe. Um, so it's really supposed to be combining those aspects of those ships and really this is what the result is. So this is one we'll get to fly in Squadron 42. Um, some people that have spent a lot of money on the game actually are going to have one of these um, given to them. Granted, it'll be the civilian version. I am pretty certain based on the number of weapons on this ship that this is actually the, the um, military model. Uh, the civilian one is going to be watered down some. So if my guesstimates are correct, I think this thing has six size three weapons and two size four weapons plus missiles. That's crazy. <laughs> Now, it's possible that some of those are actually the like M4As and are the size 2s. Um, I don't think that's the case. Um, I'm very confident that that's the Panther right there. Um, but either way, you know, there's, there's the ship. I mean, it's really impressive. It was cool to see in person. I know not everybody had a chance to either get on that day. Um, so hopefully what they'll do is on the last day of the sale or whenever they open up all of the ships, maybe they'll have different stops and all of these hangars will be back so you can come and see it because it is worth seeing in the game. Otherwise, I wanted to make sure I got the video out there for you so you could check it out. So if you have questions about this, please let me know. Otherwise, stay tuned for a lot more coming soon and have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care.